Okay, we were talking about uh, structure section, and we're going to continue now with the lesson incorrect forms of words connected with certain fields. Okay, so as we were saying in last class, the TOEFL is going to um, confuse you with the words that they have on the sentence. Okay, let's remember. So, what am I talking about this topic? Number one, in this case, we're talking about um, this works like um, this. Okay, this these type of mistakes that you will find on the TOEFL exam that you have to um, spot, okay, are going to be, for example, between names of fields like biology and the name of the person who practices that field, for example, biologist. Okay, or even between some terms or adjectives that, that describe the field, for example, biological. Okay, so in the double exam, remember that on this section, you have to find the mistake in the sentence, okay, which word is used incorrectly. And the double exam is going to use this type of, of words, okay? Words that are similar, then they might, or we might think that they mean the same, which actually is not, and we need to know um, when to use one or the other, okay? So for example, this is a, a, an example as, as in the double, it says, First, specializing in industrial photography, Margit Burke White later became a famous news photographer and editorial. In this example, which word from A, B, C, or D do you think that is wrong? Letter D? That's right. It is editorial, and we're talking about an editor, right? So, yep, letter D is the answer. That's what you have to find on the, on the top of the exam. Now, there are other words, formation problems that you might find, but check this. For example, we will find something like corn played an important role in the cultural of cliff dwelling Indians of the Southwest. In this example, which answer do you think is wrong? D? Letter D? Cliff dwelling? No, C. That's right. Letter C is the answer. Because we're talking in the culture of the cliff dwelling. Okay? It's this cultural, and the actual word should be culture. Okay? A noun, not an adjective. What about this one? The galaxy Andromeda is the most distant object visible to observe observers in the northern hemisphere. Letter B. That's right. In this case, distance is a noun, and we should use an adjective, actually. We're using here um, superlatives. You know that must is followed by an adjective. Okay. Now, scientists believe that the continents once formed a single continent surrounded by an enormous sea. And? That's right. Believe is a noun, and we should... Okay. Have a verb here. Hold on. Hmm. What about this one? Bunsen burners are used to hot materials in a chemistry lab. Very good. Hot is an adjective, and actually here we need a verb, right? The verb heat, not the adjective hot. Well done. This one. A sudden freezing can destroy citrus cards. Drop. Dirty. Sudden. Freezing. I heard A, B, C. <laughs> yeah, one of you said A, but the other one said B, and the other one said C. Freezing B? Uh, sorry, freezing. That's right. Okay? This is because the I and D. Okay? It's just, we need a noun, and the noun is freeze. Uh -huh. Yeah? Not an adjective, freezing. Okay, 
So basically, that's it. If I think it was easy for you. You were uh, really smart. You will you found the mistakes really quick. So in this case, you have five different exercises on the platform, which are 32.1, 32.2, 32.3, 32.4, and 32.5. All of this are about the same topic, okay? Which is, yeah, which is the word order formation, okay? Incorrect forms of words connected with certain fields. Now, as I said, number one, you will find mistakes about fields like biology, biology, biological. You might also find some mistakes with nouns instead of adjectives or the opposite. Um, or, or also, what did I say? Nouns instead of verbs, okay? Adjectives instead of verbs. Or uh, present participle adjectives or past participle adjectives instead of nouns or verbs, etc. Okay? So here you have five different exercises in the platform so you can practice all this. Before I continue, do you have any questions with this topic? No. no. Perfect. Well. Yeah? Tell me anything. Not yet. Ah. Thank you that in Everything some well. exercises. Yeah. You, we cannot find the word. No? Oh, yeah. That's right. That's We'll see it later. Yeah, yeah, you let me know in the WhatsApp group if you have any questions about the exercises. Sure. Yeah. Okay, now, there are other mistakes about um, er error in word choice, okay? About the choice that, the word that is chosen in the exercise. What are these mistakes? Okay, these, these words or word choice errors involve the incorrect use of one word in place of another, okay? The use of one word in place of another. Okay, now, these two words might be related forms, like, for example, other and another. Okay, you know, other and another, they are similar, but they are not correct. Or, well, depending on what you're talking about. You must use one or the other. Or maybe they can be completely different, but maybe they have the same meaning in Spanish, like do and make, but we use them in a different way. Okay? So let's start talking about the, um, when we use make and when we use the verb do. So basically, we're talking just about do versus make. Okay? The verb to do is often used in place of to make in the double example. In the double example. Okay? And to make is often used instead of to do. In its basic sense, to make means to produce, to create, or, or to construct. Let me use well, this one the color here. To make means to produce, to create, or to construct. Okay. On the other hand, to do means to perform, to act. Or to accomplish. Okay. Now we can also use this verse in several expressions. What could be expressions? For example, some of the most common expressions on the couple of exams with the make are make advances, make an attempt, make a comparison, make a contribution, make a decision, make a distinction, make a forecast. Make an investment, make a law, make an offer, make a plan, make a, make a point, make a prediction, make a profit, make a promise, make a sound or noise, or make a suggestion. Okay? Try to, well, maybe not memorize, but practice these phrases, try to remember these phrases when you take your exam. Can I continue? Yes. Perfect. Now, there are other uses of make, okay? Remember, we also have phrasal verbs, and in this case, we're talking about a completely different meaning for the verb. For example, we can use the expression be made of, which means that something is composed of something, okay? Or make up, which also means composed. Okay, it could also be, like, create. And... To make is also used in this pattern. 
make someone an adjective. Okay. For example, the gift made her happy. In this case, we're expressing that something okay, or, or someone changed their status because of something else. Okay. So here we have the gift made her happy. We have made, which is the verb make. Then we have someone, a person. And finally, we have an adjective. We will never say something like the gift did her happy. Okay. We will always follow this expression. Now, talking about the verb to do. As with make, we have also some expressions that will always be followed with the verb do. For example, we have do an assignment, do business with, do one's duty, do someone a favor, do a job or errand or chore, do research or do one's work. Okay, these are some expressions that I'll always follow with the verb do. Sometimes the auxiliary verb do is used rather than repeat main verbs. For example, my computer doesn't operate as fast as it does. Okay, remember that here we're using the verb does. Okay instead of repeating the verb operate. I could exactly say, my computer doesn't operate as fast as they're operating. That could also be correct, okay? But in this case, we're using the auxiliary verb do to, to, to um, avoid repeating the verb, okay? So every time in your double exam, every time you see the verb make or do underlined in the written expression section, you should suspect that that is a word mistake. Okay, that, that might be the answer. Any questions so far? No, I don't think so. Perfect. I think it's clear. Okay, so let's check some examples. Uh, so, 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 yes. so, could you please go back? Yep. Go back. Yeah. No, the one that. Uh, that, uh -huh. that one. Okay. Just on one second. Please. Sure. Ready. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so here we have an example. Some of this done from varying amount of limestone, clay, and gypsum. Letter A. Yeah. Wrong. Well, number one, we're talking about make versus do, so it's like really obvious that the answer is done, right? But, well, how can we know? Well, number one, in this case, we're expressing that cement is form, it's composed. Okay? And we said that when we're talking about composition, we should use the verb make. Okay? And that's it. What about this one? A small town newspapers often use rangers to make business with local merchants. Do business. That's right. That's an expression that we've said. Yeah. We always said do business, not make business. Okay? Now, what finds with do versus make? Do you have any questions? No. Perfect. Yeah. Now, another mistake that you might find on the double is the wrong choice of the words like or alike and like or us. Okay, we know that mm -hmm. these four words are, have very similar meanings, but we also know when to use one or the other. So, um, this is the pattern that we have to follow. When we start with like, we say like A, something. Or we can say A, comma, like B, etc. Okay. Or say something like A is like, or finally, A and B are alike. For example, like birds, 
coma, mammals are warm blood. Okay, that's mm -hmm. the use of like. Like and a noun, and then we have the expression of the plus. Number two, we say birds like B are warm blooded. Okay. Number three, A is like birds are like mammals in that they are in that they are both warm blooded. And finally, birds and mammals are alike in that they are both warm blooded. So this is a pattern that we will always follow when we're talking about like and alike. Okay? Now, how can we know when to use as or like? Yes? Hi, sorry. I'm sorry. So yes, yes, I'm oh. sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Okay. So how can we know when to use as and when to use like? Whenever you see the words alike or like underlined, you should suspect a word choice error. Okay? It's like do or make. They are underlined, maybe that's a mistake. The word like is also sometimes confused with the word as. When like is used in a comparison, it is followed by a noun or pronoun. Sorry. Okay. When as is used in a comparison, it is followed by a clause containing a subject and a verb. For example, I did my experiment just as Paul did. Okay, as you can see here, we have as, and then we have a noun, and then we have a verb. But when we use like, we say something like, my results were much like false, which is only an L. Okay? Questions here? I think it's yes, like and as are very confusing. Yeah? I think. You want me to go deeper yeah. on this topic? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember when we were checking uh, the differences? As is always followed. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. As is always followed by a noun and a verb, or a subject and a verb. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember when we checked because or because of? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. And we said that because, because it's followed by a clause. Yes, and because of is only followed by a noun. A noun Remember? or ing. That's right. So in this case, it's exactly the same. When we use as, it is going to be followed by by a subject and verb. For example. Here we have, I work as much as Elliot works. Okay, so I have as, and then I have the subject, Elliot, and a verb, works. But if I use the verb like, as, as, as the meaning is uh, similar, say that something similar, I say something like. Like here is a preposition. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. I work as much as Elliot. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm not, no, 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 sorry. I work a lot, like Elliot. Okay, so after the word like, we only have a noun here. No verb. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
That, but in meaning, they are both the same. Yeah, that's right. Like and as can be translated both as como. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's just to yep. learn. Yeah, yep. to, to remember the rule. Like, like a formula, no? Yeah, um, that's right. Rule, it's yes. just like a formula. Okay, so the world, well, the, the problem is this. The word as is also used before nouns. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the problem that you're going to have. The word as is also used before nouns when it means in place of or in the role of. Okay? This is particularly common after certain verbs like serve, function, and use, among others. Now, let me just show you an example. Um, if you ever watch a movie or the credits of a movie, at the end of the movie, it says, or it's, it's as simple as, I don't know, like Brad Pitt. Okay, Brad Pitt. As, and the name of, of the, the character in the movie. Okay, I don't remember the Titanic movie. What was his name? Jack. Okay, Jack. So as you can see here, we are using the word as, yes, and here we have just a noun, okay, a person. So there is no verb here. So we can use as before nouns, but when we're talking or saying something like in the role of. So it means Brad Pitt in the role of Jack. You get it? No, I didn't. That's the only case when you can use as before a noun. Or normally, we can also find verbs like serve, function, and use. Okay. For example, the vice president served as president when the president was sick. Or after I have Johnny Depp act as Jack Sparrow on Pirates of the Caribbean. Girls, questions? Okay. No questions? No, no, no. Perfect. So let's make an example. No. It says, thank you. It says, I like their clothes relative to the frogs. Toads are amphibians. Letter A. That's right. It's alike. Okay. Because we said that we, we follow this pattern. Like. like A, comma, B. So it should only be like their clothes relative to the frogs, comma, toads, or amphibians. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? Asters, as most perennial plants, bloom once a year. Huh? That's right. Okay. Yes. Most perennial plant is the subject. There is no verb in this phrase. So we should not use as. We should use like. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Girls, questions between the uses of, of like and as? No questions? Perfect. No. So now let's talk about the wrong choice of so, such, to, and as. Okay. Now we have to. We also have to learn these patterns. And if you learn the pattern, you it's going to be easier for you to identify which word um, is wrong in the sample, okay, or which it should be the answer. The first case, we have so plus an adjective plus a that clause, okay? That clause. For example, these boxes are so heavy. First, we have the word so. Then we have an adjective heavy. And then we have a that clause. We start with that. We can't lift them. Okay? These boxes are so heavy that we can't. 
Also, we can use so with the word many and the word much, normally to make emphasis. Okay, with many and much. And normally they will be followed with the clause that. For example, there were so many people in the auditorium that we could barely get in the front door. So we have so many people, in this case it's an hour, okay, in the auditorium that we could barely get in the front door. Okay. Now, how would you, do we use the word such? We say such plus adjective plus a noun phrase plus a that clause. So if, if you compare this sentence or this pattern with the first one, you will see that the difference is a noun phrase. Okay, because we have here so adjective that clause. With such, we have such adjective noun phrase that clause. For example, it was such a pretty view that he took a photograph. Okay, we have such an adjective, a pretty view, okay, a pretty view. It's the noun phrase and that that he took a photograph, it's the that phrase. Okay. Someone just entered the chat and just took an office. I know. I heard someone connected. Okay. Me, it was me. The thing that the sign signal is failing. Okay. But I went away. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, I just I heard that, that someone entered and said, like, oh, let me give you the access. Okay, it's, it's okay. Now, when we are talking about the word to, okay, to is always followed by an adjective and then an infinitive verb. For example, it is too cold to go swimming today. Okay, so here we have four different patterns. Guys, girls, do you have any questions here about this pattern? Sir, yes. I got lost because they. Oh, you're lost. Okay. Um, let's just mm -hmm. do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Just a little bit. No worries. Just light. There we go. Let's make it easier. I can hear you, can you hear Okay, um, can you hear me? Everyone, can you hear me? No, I can hear you. Yes? Yes, yes. It might be your internet, Benny, because everybody else listens. Okay, this is what you have to learn. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, these are the four structures that you, Can you must. Hear me? Yes, 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 I do. These are the four structures that you must uh, memorize. Okay. Here we have four different options: two with the word "so," one with "such," and one with "to." "So" plus adjective plus a that clause. Yes. So plus many and that or so plus much and a dot plus. Obviously, if you use many is because the noun that you're using and so you're talking about is a countable noun. Okay, and if you use much, it's because countable it's an noun. uncountable noun, that's right. Okay, with such we have such adjective noun phrase and a dot plus. So if you compare the number one and number three structures, the only difference is that we, here we have a noun phrase. Okay? We have 
so two plus plus adjective plus an infinitive verb. Is this clear? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. So now let's check how to identify whether to use saw and when to use as. For example, if you realize on the previous pattern that we, that we show you, or that I show you, so and such are both followed by that clauses. Okay, but two is followed by an infinitive verb. So the words as and so are also sometimes confused. For example, Jane did so well as I did on the economics exam. Or the coffee was as hot that I couldn't drink it. Okay. Both sentences are wrong. You cannot say something like that. In the first sentence, the word as should be used in place of so. In the second sentence, so should be used in place of as. Okay, so at least in the first sentence, I should say something like, Jane did as well as I did on the economics exam. Instead of so well as. And in the second example, the coffee was as hot that I couldn't drink it, we should use so. The coffee was so hot that I couldn't drink it. Okay, if you remember in the past, we already checked or we already talked about comparisons, remember? And we said that when we mm -hmm. make comparisons with as, we should have as, then an adjective, and then again the word as. So in this example here we have so, well, as. So here in this example, we are using the word so instead of the word as. So here you can identify that this is not correct. Okay? Okay. Now, if we go back, we said here, I'm sorry, um, but here we use so plus adjective and then a that clause. So, on this example, here we have as, then we have an adjective, and then we have a that clause. So, this is uh, obviously wrong. We should say so hot that I couldn't drink it. Okay? The okay. special was so, adjective, and that clause. So, normally on the exam, you will have to decide if the mistake is the word so or the word as. They, they are commonly um, used one instead of the other. Now, you should also know when to use so much, too much, too, or so. Okay, what is the difference between using this one or the other? Okay, it's actually really simple. Too is just used with adjectives, and too much and too many, it's always used with nouns. Okay? So it's too with adjectives, and too much, and well, let me use a different color here. And too much and too many, it's always going to be used with nouns. Okay? For example, I said it's too hot here. Or he has too many cars. Or the boss drank too much alcohol. Every time you use too, just the word too, it is going to be always followed by an adjective. If you use too many or too much, it's because you're talking about a noun. That's simple as it is. Remember, if we're talking about many, we're talking about countable nouns, so we need a noun here. If we're talking about much, we're talking about an uncountable noun, and obviously we need a noun here. Okay? Question here? No. Perfect. So now, how can we know when to use so much and when should we use too much? Okay. Number one, 
it can be an adverb, so much and too much, both are adverbs. For example, I can say, I am tired from dancing so much, said the bride. With too much, we say, the baby is crying too much. I think he's hungry. Or, you have been studying too much. Take a break. It can also be used as an adjective. For example, my mom cooked so much food for the party. And too much we will say something like, that is too much food for two people. Or, you spent too much time playing video games. Finally, we can also use so much as a, as a pronoun, like we ate so much at the buffet. Okay, so as you know, when we're talking about adverbs, in this case, so much is modifying the verb dancing. In this one, we're talking about adjectives, and so much is modifying the noun food. Finally, here, so much is the object, the object pronoun okay, of the sentence. Okay, we ate so much. Very the same. Too much is modifying the verb crying. Okay, or too much is modifying the verb spanning. Here as an adjective, too much is modifying food, and here too much is modifying time. Okay. So, till here, the only difference that we can find is that we can use so much as pronouns, but we cannot use too much as pronouns. Okay? So, Let's now make Oi. Or, yeah. Hi, could you please go sure. back from my sure. Only the last is like yes, just I mean please. Sure. No worries. So, too much is having more than enough and is usually negative, okay? That's the meaning. When we use too much, it means that we have more than enough. Normally, when we use it, it, it mentions or it refers to a negative meaning, okay? And so much means that you have lots, okay? You have lots. But not necessarily too much. It means that you, maybe you can deal with it. For example, I might say, I have so much cake. It means that you're happy because you have a lot of cake. Okay, and you will be eating cake all the week. But if you say, I have too much cake, it means that it's a lot and you will not be able to finish it. Okay? Maybe you're unhappy because you have to throw it away. That's basically the difference between using it's too much or so much. So it will depend on the context. Okay? Yes. So, for example, we say something like, The sun is so bright to look at it directly. The mistake in the sentence. It's two. Two. B. Letter B. B. That's right. Okay, because we said that the structure is two, adjective, and then a verb and infinitive, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the part that we must follow. What about this one? In much of Alaska, 
the growing season is as short as the crops can be raised. Sorry, remember the structure. So, adjective and a dot plus. Yeah, here we have as, then we have the adjective, and then we have the bad plus. Okay. What about this, this one? The giant squid is so an elusive animal that one time it was believed to be totally visible. That's right. Okay. Here we said that before an adjective is noun, uh, and a bad clause, the word such we should should be used. Okay. Such then we have here an adjective, elusive, and then we have a noun and a bad clause. Okay. What about this one? The mineral grains in basalt are so much small that they cannot be seen with the ornate eye. Very good. Okay. Um, we, we don't need the word much. Okay, because this is an adjective. And we said that we use much with nouns. Not with adjectives, mm -hmm. right? Okay, girls, do you have questions here with this topic? You must learn the fire, that's it. Questions? No. No problem. Not for now. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> when you're doing the exercises, you're going to have a lot of questions, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. Now, the other mistake that you might find is between the words another and other. Okay? We need to know when to use one or the other. Both can be used as adjective or pronoun. Okay? Now, one. When we use another, it is always going to be followed by a singular noun. Okay, for example, I have another sandwich. Okay, it means only one more. That's why we have the article here, and. Okay. We can also use another as pronoun. For example, thanks, I have another. Which means also one more. And other can also be used as an adjective, okay? But other is going to be followed by a plural noun. For example, I wonder if there is life on other planets. Okay. It can also be used as an adjective. Uh, okay. With other and a noun. For example, there might be life on some other planets. So we have the letter minus some, which refers to more than one, and then we have the noun in plural. Okay? We will never say something like some another because some refers to more than one, and another means to only one. And when we use other as a pronoun, we will always use a letter minor before other. For example, I have one book. You have the other. So in this case, we are referring to one book only. OK? 
nothing, not more than one. But as you can see here, we have the determiner, so we must use other, no another. Okay. Yes or no? I'm a little confused the last. Well, the last one, okay, sure. But that one. <laughs> Let me try to make You have easy. the other. Actually, I, it's not in the duffel if I'm not wrong, but let's see, I'll check if it's in here. No, it's not. But I'm going to add here. The other and others. Okay, we have four different options. Okay, you can say other, another, the other, the others, and others. Okay. The first thing that we need to understand is that another always, always, always refers to one. That's it. Just because of the word an. Okay? So, mm -hmm. it can be used as an adjective or as a pronoun. For example, as an adjective, I could say, for example, I would like another soda. Okay? So, uh, actually, all of these words might be translated as otra or otro. Okay? Or otras, according to the ending here. So, here I'm saying that I would like another soda. It means only one more thing. Okay? As a pronoun, I can start the sentence, for example, with, um, or I, I can just say uh, the same. I would like another, and that's it. In this case, this is a pronoun. It's the object pronoun here. Okay? Am I clear now? What would another? Yes? Well, yes, it's in here. Now, when we use other, other might refer to one object only or more. When we refer to only one, we will normally use, let's say here, only one. Obviously, we cannot use the words the others. Nor the word others. Okay, obviously, if we refer to only one, we will only use the word other, not the others or others. Okay? And I can also use both as an adjective or a pronoun. For example, um, I invited my friends and other people. Okay. In this case, I am using other as an adjective again. Okay. Because other is modifying the word people, but in this case, I'm referring to more than one. Okay. But I can also say something like, do you prefer um, this pen or the other? In this case, I'm referring to only one pen. But as you can see, here we have the word the. 
when you are referring to only one object and you're using the other, okay, you must have the word the. And in this case, I am using it as a pronoun. Okay. I'm going to change this one so you will use it in, in two ways. For example, the other boy helped me. So when you use other to refer to only one person or object, you must use the article the. Okay? Here, this is an adjective because it's modifying the word boy. And here is a pronoun because I am only using the word the other. I'm not using the noun. Okay? No question here. And uh, no, it's okay. Perfect. Now, if we want to refer to a plural noun, obviously we're not going to use um, another. We're going to use um, others, the others, or also the other. Okay. For example. And it can be the same as with adjective or pronoun. For example, I love much more the others music. Or I love much more the other um, movies. In this case, it's a pronoun, and in this case, this is an adjective. Okay, and in both, we're referring to plural. Okay. Finally, with other, now uh, we'll leave. Intense or intelligent others with intense. Okay. Questions? No, I think it's more clear. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so as we said, another means one more or an additional one. Okay, it can be used as an adjective before a singular noun or alone as a pronoun. For example, he needs another piece of paper, or I have one class in that building and another in the building across the quadrangle. Okay. So it's basically the same that I have this plane. Another, in this case, is as an adjective because here we have a piece of paper. Okay, and in this one we have another as a pronoun. Okay. And as we said, we use other as an adjective before a plural noun, and it's also used as an adjective before a singular noun when preceded by a determiner, such as the, some, any, one, or no. It can also be used alone as a pronoun when preceded by a determiner. Okay, the determiner is like the example here I use, the. Okay, here, it's always. So always, 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 when you refer to only one and you're using other, you need a determiner. For example, there are other matters I like to discuss with you. Here, other, 
is an adjective and it's modifying the plural noun matters. Number two, it says one of the books was a novel. The other was a collection of essays. The other, in this case, is a pronoun and it's referring to only one. Okay, that's why we need the determiner not. And finally, there is no other place a writer visits. One more time, here we have the determiner, no. But it is being used as an adjective because we are modifying the, the noun place. That is, as it is singular, we need the word no, the determiner before the word other. Okay? Pearl, questions? Let's do this. I think that it's, you still have some doubt, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Um, um, Voy a escribir unos ejercicios, vayan los leyendo mientras. And what you have to do is to tell me how can I complete these examples. If you can complete them using other, the other, another, or what do you use, okay? Okay, let's do this exercise, okay? How would you complete exercise number one? The bookstore is far from here. Isn't there... Other? Other. Another one? Another? Another is the answer, that's right. As you can see here, we are talking about is, or it says isn't there, so we're talking in singular. Mm -hmm. So we should use another, okay? Because the question is singular. Mm -hmm. Number two, the boy is taller. Oh. The boy is taller. What? 
Get another? Another? Mm-hmm. You sure? Another? Sorry, it's mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Uh, even when we're, boy is that's cool. right. Even we're talking in singular <laughs> person, like boy, it's singular, yes. But we have the word the. So if you have a, sorry girls. If you have a determiner as the, you must always use other, not another. Okay, even when we're talking in singular. Yes. So this one, for example, the day I wasn't yes. invited. Let's write exactly the same example. So number three, the day I was in a fight. How would you fill in? The other. That's right. The other. The other day I was in a fight. Just because we have the determiner here, the. What about this one? It's exactly the same example, but we are not using the determiner the. What would you use? Another day? That's right. Another. Just because we're talking in singular, we're saying they, and we don't have a determiner before another. Okay? Next one. Okay, perfect. This doctor told me I was sick, but said the contrary. Another? That's right. You have to use another. Okay. We're talking about another doctor and there is no any determiner here. Okay, so another is correct. Next one. Any kid would help me. Any other kid would help me. That's right. That's right. Any other kid. We don't have the determiner the, but we have the determiner any. Okay, so remember, you don't necessarily need the word that. It might be the, some, any, no. Okay? So here we have the determiner any, and we said any other kid, even because it's singular. Okay? Next one. I could lend you books, but this one. Others. Others? Other books. Other books, that's right. Well, um, let me just tell you what the difference between using others and other. And as you can see here, see here in the examples that I just wrote, others, when you use others, they will always, always, always be pronouns. Okay? Others. It's always used as a pronoun, not as an adjective. Remember that adjectives in English have no plural form. We don't say red cars. We say red cars. Okay? We don't say beautiful girls. We only say beautiful girls. So if you're using other as an adjective, you cannot add an S. Add an S. And in this case, on this example, we have the word books, which is a noun. So this cannot be an objective, and we cannot add an is. Am I clear? Yes, you are. Thank you. Finally, I have cars in my garage. Other? Sorry. Other, because we're talking in plural, it says cars, okay, and it's a noun. Okay, well, uh, other is an adjective, actually. Okay, girls, is it clear?
Good meet you. Perfect. Tanya, Dora. Now we get this place. Perfect. So let's try with this example. Willa Cather is now is known for my Antonia and another novels of the American frontier. Another? That's right. The mistake is really obvious, right? We're talking about other, another, etc. But can you tell me why another is wrong here? Because another is for singular. Very good. Singular now. No? Yes. Mm -hmm. And novels is in plural, right? That's right. So Novel? Uh -huh. Plural. Okay. Well done. What about this one? An understudy is an actor who can substitute for other actor in case of an emergency. Other? Yes, and why? Singular? Yeah, this is singular. Mm -hmm. But remember that we can also use other with singular now? Remember, we can use another with singular. We can always use another with singular. But we can use other with singular or plural. In this case, actor is singular. So other could be correct, except for that every time we we refer to yeah. other as with a singular okay. noun, that's right. We should use the determiner, the other actor. Okay? Yeah. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. That's why we should use another instead of other. Okay. Girls, questions with this topic? Not now, but no. for sure, I think that when I do a <laughs> activities, I will have. Perfect. This is yeah. a little confused for me. Okay. If, 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 try to do the exercises during these days. And if you have questions about the mm -hmm. topic, I might have different exercises. Or Well, right now I'm inventing the, the examples that I'm giving you. But if you consider that you need more practice about this topic, we can do it next class, okay? Or I can provide you yeah, some powerful you. presentations or worksheets that you can do at home, okay? Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, now let's talk about the wrong use of because or because of, which we have already talked in the chat, and other similar expressions with although, during, and when or while. Let's start with because and because of. Remember, some expressions such as because are adverb clause markers and are used only before clauses. Well, I don't really need to do this because they are already in red, but because are always followed by clauses. Okay, and when we use before of, they are always followed by noun phrases. Noun or noun phrases, okay? Yes. Now, we also need to be careful with other words, not only because and because of. Okay? The first four, because, although, when, and while, are always followed by clause mark, or by clauses, okay? And, on the other hand, we have because of, despite, in spite of, and during. These four are always followed by noun. These four are always followed by noun. And this four will be always followed by a subject or a noun and a verb. Okay? That's the difference. So you must remember because a clause, a subject and verb, because of a noun. Although noun and verb, despite only noun. When noun and verb in spite of noun. 
while, noun and verb, and during, noun. Okay? Can I continue? Yes. Perfect. So, for example, because migration to the suburbs, the population of many large American cities declined between 1950 and 1960. Okay. That's really obvious, right? <laughs> well, we're talking about this topic, so it's because, mm -hmm. but why? Because of migration. That's right. We need because of. Because. That's right, because migration is a noun. Okay? Mm -hmm. What about this one? Despite most people considered a tomato a vegetable, botanists is classified as a fruit. Very high. Yes, why? Respect people. Because we have a subject and a verb. That's a right. Plus. Here we have a subject, which is most so people. So we need a and noun. We have a verb. We only need a noun. Verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, we should use a though. Okay. Okay, before I continue, do you have any questions with this four words? Okay. You just have to remember this. This chart is the, the, the key. Okay. No questions. Perfect. So now, let's talk about the word choice of much or many and similar expressions. Now, the first thing that we need to know about much and many is that one is countable and the other one is uncountable. Okay? Because we already know. Certain expressions can only be used in phrases with plural nouns, and others can be used in expressions only with non-count nouns. Okay? Every time we use a plural noun, okay, we have to use many, few, a few, fewer, the fewest, or number. And when we're talking about uncountable nouns, we use much, little, a little, less, the least, or amount. Okay? Okay. Good. Do you know, before I continue... Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Before I continue, do you know what's the difference between few and a few? Or the difference between little and yes. a little? What's the difference? Can you tell me what the difference between well, few and a few? Well, are you as... Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 tell me. Yeah, yeah I think that the, a few has a negative connotation. Yes. That's it, that's it, yeah. When we and use a few, the same as little, a little. That's right. When we use a few, it means not enough. Okay. And few, it's few, <laughs> but it might be enough for what you want. Okay. For example, if I have ten pesos, ten pesos are a few. I'm sorry, it's not correct because pesos. Well, pesos are countable. Yeah, the, the coins are countable. Um, I have a few pesos to buy a car because 10 pesos is not enough to buy a car. But if I have 10 pesos, I have few pesos to buy uh, chewing gum. Okay, because a, a chewing gum costs like two pesos. So it's not a lot of money, but it's enough to buy a few some chewing gum. Okay, and it's the same with little and a little. If we say a little, it means not enough, okay, with non controlled now. Like, if I have... Um, a little money. Yeah, I have this case, it would be the same example, right, but with money. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a little money to buy a car with 10 pesos, but I have little money if I have uh, 10 pesos to buy a car, a Coke. A Coke, okay? <laughs> so that's <laughs> the, the difference between few and a few, and little and a little. 
Yeah. Fewer, yes. as you know, it's the comparative form mm -hmm. of few, and fewest is the superlative form. And it's the same here. Less is the comparative form, and the least is the superlative form. Okay? So, well, that's mm -hmm. basically everything that you need to know. Remember just many, few, fewer, fewest number are with countable nouns, and little, li a little, less, least, amount, and much are always used with uncountable nouns. So, here we have a first example. Pearls are found in much color, including cream, blue, lavender, and black. Many colors. That's right. A little bit. A little bit. Because colors, it's a countable noun, right? <laughs> Many. Yeah. Okay, girls, do you have any questions here with this? It works? Yes. Yeah, tell me. Can you give us an example with number and amount? Sure. Right, sorry. There you go. For example, the number of students, in this case we have the word number, and I'm talking about the students. The students are countable. The number of the students in the class is eight. And here I say the amount of time of the classes is not enough. In this case, I'm using amount, but I'm talking about time. Time is mm -hmm. uncountable. Okay. okay. Girls, do you have any other question? No, teacher. No? Perfect. Girls, we finished earlier. Sometimes we pass like 10 and really? 15 minutes. Yeah, we're done for today. Actually, today we check even more slides, 25, 56 slides. Normally we check like 47, 20 something. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you have no more questions, we can finish. Or tell me. We can take this time to do something else. Or I can give you more examples. It's up to you. Uh, yes. With such, yeah. Can can we check then the the word such? What kind of word is? What do you mean? With what kind of word? Yeah, I don't know if it is uh what for example. I know the are. Uh, Nouns, prepositions. Okay. And pronouns. Mm. And such is an adjective or what? No, it's not an adjective. Such. That's a really good question. As long as I know, such is just a word to, to make emphasis. So, I think it's an adverb. Let me check it out. I'm not pretty sure. But I think it's an adverb. No, such is could, a determiner. Could we go back to that example, to those examples that you were given before? Because sure. when you were um, passing the slides, I, uh, I mean, the internet was fading uh -huh. and I got lost. Are these examples that you're looking for? With such plus an adjective, now no, I, I, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Ah, okay. 
I it, it does resemble Sarka one for this game, and that that's it. No, I give you I these examples. Oh, okay. Okay, for but example, I, these are this is um the structure that you have to follow, and here are the examples. You know, like mm -hmm. um for yes. example, with such it was such a pretty view that he took a photograph. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, okay. Subplus adjective plus a noun phrase. Uh -huh. What's the noun phrase? Remember, um, well, we have yeah. nouns. You know, nouns are. Uh, People, animals, places, or things. Okay? Yes. Now, what is a noun phrase? A noun phrase is exactly the same a person, an animal, a place, or thing, but a little bit longer. <laughs> You're describing it a little bit more. For example, I can say um, the red car, this is a noun phrase. It has no verb. Uh -huh. But I am talking about a, no a noun, which is a car. But a noun phrase has or, more words and more like it, this one contains an adjective and a determiner. Okay, but it's just the noun mm -hmm. of the sentence. So I can say mm -hmm. the red car is mine. Okay, and the subject of the sentence in this case is a noun phrase, the red car. Not only the car, not only the red. It's the red car. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a noun phrase. So the mm -hmm. okay, thank you. So if we go back to the, yeah, the so slide, one. Sure. the one that you showed, uh, oh, oh, showed, that showed, yeah, <laughs> have showed. It says it was such a pretty view. Uh -huh. View. Plus of plus, right? Plus of plus. And remember, clauses have subject, verb, and complement. So we have that. He is a subject, took is a verb, a paragraph is the complement. Uh -huh. It says that he took yeah. a photograph? A photograph. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. That's what You're welcome. Now, um, you were asking me about what part of the speech is such. I already looked for it. Uh -huh. it. And I, it actually, uh -huh. it is a determiner. It is also an adverb. It is also an adjective. I'm sorry, a conjunction. Or a demonstrative pronoun. Okay. You can use it as all Boy. these types. Yeah, because yeah. for example, here, as you can see here with... It was such a pretty view. Such is an adverb, and this adverb is modifying the adjective mm -hmm. pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in this example, such is an adverb. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Carols, um, do you have any other question? About any other topic or the same one? No, not for me. No Thank questions. you so much for today. Thank you, girls. Okay, so we're done. And see you on Thursday. Same time, same place. Okay? Try to do the exercise if you could see there. Yes, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you. Okay, bye. Thank you, bye-bye.